Hello, in this video I will try to explain addressing modes of 8085. So what is addressing modes? Each instruction requires some data on which operation is to be performed. There are various techniques to specify the address of the data. These are called as addressing modes. The meaning of this is whenever we perform any operation or any instruction in 8085, we need an address of the data for that can be a register or a memory location so how to get those there are certain techniques or uh, there are different types of those with which we can get the data there are five types of addressing modes so first addressing mode is direct addressing modes in this addressing modes the address is specified in the instruction for example here C200H it is a memory location it is specified in the instruction LDA C200H or here in STA1401 so what this address is given in the instruction itself so we can say that it is a direct addressing mode direct addressing mode instructions are of 2 bytes or 3 bytes here this is a 3 byte instruction because this will take one byte of instruction this is this will take as another byte of instruction and this another so this is a total of 3 byte instruction this will the instruction is of one byte this half of this address will be will take as one byte and another half as one byte so this is a 3 byte instruction next addressing mode is register addressing mode so in register addressing mode there is use of registers only so whenever you see any instruction in which specifically only the register are used for example register a b c d or h l h l is also a register pair HL can also be used as a register, register pair so whenever all these are used you can say that it is a register addressing modes these instructions are of only of one byte because here you can see there is no memory location it is only an instruction so this is only of one byte now the next addressing mode is indirect addressing modes so I can tell you a shortcut whenever we see M in the instruction we assume it as indirect addressing mode because in indirect addressing mode it always says the memory location of the address where a data is stored for example move B comma M here M can be any memory location which is specified in HL pair or a DE pair or any other pair so I can this is a shortcut whenever you see M in the instruction take it is as indirect addressing so here move b comma m add m so whenever you see m it is indirect addressing next addressing is immediate addressing this is very simple whenever we see an indirect data is transferred it is called as immediate addressing here see m via a comma ffh in this instruction data ff is indirectly stored in a indirectly or directly because it does not require any intermediate for example if it, this will not go to any other memory location or any other register this data will be stored in a after this instruction is executed here 1034h when we do this instruction lxi 1034h ir irrespective of anything 1034 will be stored in the register pair which we specify for take this as lxi h comma 1034h so when we run this instruction lxi h comma 1034h 10 will go in register h and 34 will go in l so making it a hl pair h will carry data 10 and l will carry data 34 indirectly or this will just go 
in HL pair. So when we do the CPL 89H, so this is this data 89 will be compared with the accumulator immediately. It we call this as immediate addressing because it does not require any interruption or any other register pair or memory location to do this. This is therefore this is called as immediate addressing. Next addressing mode is implicit addressing modes. This addressing mode are those which are performed only on accumulator. So yes, you can see R A L. This will do. This will rotate the content of accumulator. For suppose we have the 8 bit data in the accumulator and we want to rotate those bits. So this will do that. Or S T C. This will set the carry flag. So this does not require any other register or any memory location. Therefore, we call this as implicit addressing. I hope, I hope all the addressing modes have been cleared. And thanks for watching this video.